Look at the Union Jack sway in the wind. Get you an idea what Fort uh, Federico looked like, the town. It kind of looked like this. So you can see the fort back there. It's a normal town from the 1700s. And this is where the entrance from Military Road goes into Fort Rica. This is where the town gate was. Right here where this area was. There's a fence. And all kinds. So look at these trees are here. Coming here in the 1740s. And this is a big, huge gate here. And they had the, the berms, which was the hills. And probably uh, palisades in there, which was sticks. And then they probably, it was probably a lot deeper. So you can't get through. Probably a wooden wall around the whole thing. But this is the entrance to Frederica Town, Fort Frederica. And this is where the berms were. It's a lot higher, a lot taller back then. This is how the town was set up. As you can tell now, and the fort was here. You can tell where some of it's washed away by the river. And this is what's left. And you still see the, this bastion here. And this bastion still remains too as well. And the ones here and here still exist as well. You have to really look for them. Part of the palisades I told you about the things that stuck up in the moat probably stuck in there this is a piece of it they found about a uh, pine palisade made out of wood and it probably went in this moat right here to stop the enemy from getting through got yeah, a thing when this this was set up this was probably really a lot deeper had palisades in it like I showed you over there like sticks sticking up with sharp ends on it made out of wood probably a fence like a big stockade fence and these berms so to get over the but now it's all eroded over time. So I'm walking to Broad Street, which if you first walked into Frederica town, Broad Street would be the first thing you see, which is straight ahead and go straight to the King Magazine. Okay, the tree covered on embankment in front of you is a remnant of a mile long wall that once enclosed the town. The construction of the wall began in 1739, probably continued for several years. The earthworks consist of sodded ramparts, six feet high. So these were six feet high at one time. With a firing step inside a moat just outside. There's the, the moat over there. The moat was bounded by two rows of eight foot posts called palisades. Like I told you, sticking up sharp poles that stuck up. These defenses would have difficulties to get over. Because you got to get over the palisades, through the moat, over the fence, and the wall. Like this wall right here. You got to go through all that to get over that fence to get to the fort. Which took a while. I always wonder what these little um, markers stand for. Maybe guard houses. There's one there. There's four here. And there's four on this one. I wonder if it was ever anything there, like a guard house or something. Probably had to check in during the time because this is where the town gate was. So the town gate set about right here. So you had to get through it to get probably back there where that uh, bend starts, right there where, the, where it turns. Imagine these earthworks or berms, hills or whatever you want to call them, were six feet high and they had to come through there to get in here, like a ditch with palisades and fence and people shooting at you. Really, really a challenge. You can see the berms and the uh, moat really good right here, further down. Basically, it's like a big ditch. It was a lot taller back then. It's eroded and trees wouldn't have been here. It would all been clear during that time. Okay, I'm standing where the Northeast Town Bastion was, the corner, northeast corner of the uh, the fort. This is where the uh, some of the stuff they found. Eye bolt for gun, gun carriage, cannonball, four pound cannonball, musket ball, and a musket flint. But this is what a bastion looked like on the corner. They had a little building, basically a lookout point for you to shoot. And it was right here where this wood is. Basically, this is where the building was. The earthworks known as a bastion projected from the corner of the town hall within the bastion stood remarkable wooden towers fortified with gun ports. Similar to the tower built on the opposite side of your right. A visitor wrote in 1745, on the northeast and southeast angles are erected two strong covered pentagonal bastions capable of containing 100 men. He scoured the flank within small arms defended by a number of cannons. Archaeological investigation 1957 confirmed historical records. Although the tower is gone, corners were found. Five posts marking their location today. Musket balls, gun flints, and other military artifacts were recovered. Discovery of more than 100 glass 
Beads indicate the Indians may have traded with the soldiers that stood guard here daily. See where the where the uh, earthworks the the berms come around and the way they're shaped because it's a bastion shape, shaped like a pentagon sort of. And you can see the way it curves around and comes back around this way. Because on the other side of the bastion would have been the moat and the palisades around the whole area in the fence for the fence around your whole town. But this is the outer edge of the northeast bastion right here. And this ditch kind of served as the moat for that time. And this is the way the bastion looked right here. It's just a corner of like a fort or of a town, a strong point where they had a building right here where the structure is, they had a building to fire at anybody that come through here because all these woods were probably clear back then. You see if the enemy coming is Spanish. But you can see how the berms, the earthworks are still kind of stacked up to this day from back then. And see so you had to go, they had the hill, they had a fence, they had a moat with palisades in it. There's pointy sticks. And then they had the, the fence over here so you can get through. And on each corner, like I said, they had the bastions. And these bastions right here are like little guard, like uh, guard houses that could hold about 100 men to shoot at in any direction. Basically, you see the earthworks here around this whole perimeter. You see the berms are really high on this side. Erosion that hit it too high. It's, they're probably about maybe about four feet high over here on this side over here. See the deep, deepness right here. This is pretty high up here. Probably this is probably about six feet high here. You can see how far it goes down. The berm, the uh, place where the uh, the fence they built, the palisades and the moat, and then the fence out there. Really cool. Okay, this is another area over here where it's really high. See how high it is?